going on YouTube sorry I started without y'all but I started making a scoop for the 73 Impala trying to think outside the box so it can look different than everybody else's you know you don't, you don't want to be driving around with the same looking car somebody else got so I decided to do a scoop and by me having all the stuff under the hood I might need this scoop you know but I definitely like the look that the cow hoods design. I like that look. So I had it with my last car, the Caprice. It definitely stands out. So pretty much where I'm at right now is I welded just some tack welding right here just to hold it in place. I can just cut that off if I need to make some adjustments or when I get the... The, the sides welded on or tack welded on the sides I will take this off then I will flip that backwards and weld in between those edges in the inside that's what I'm gonna end up doing because right now I got a core flux welding it really looks sloppy I'm gonna have to go with a TIG weld or a stick weld to make it look a little cleaner I just started welding. I'm catching on pretty good. As far as getting my measurements right, I use these steel rods to hold it in place. And I think I'm going to keep these rods here just in case I need that, you know, that that hold on there. In case anything fall on the hood, something like that. Those rods are going to stay there. Now they won't be welded to the actual sheet metal of the, the scoop. They're just gonna stay there. They're not going nowhere, so. But, but I went with a, I think it's a five and a half inch lift as far as the scoop. So, that's pretty much why I'm at with it right now. Just showing you what's going down. Now where we at with it now, all I did was cut the shape for the side out, just like that. And um, I got it pretty good, I think. And I'm gonna start tack welding it it on the edge to make it stay there. And all all you gotta do to get that shape is what I did is. Take a sheet, some sheet metal that overlaps it, and just you know, just take a marker, take a marker, and just draw that line on back. Once you draw that line on back, you pretty much got the shape. And go ahead and cut it out. I just use a jigsaw, you know, with a uh, metal blade just to cut it out. It doesn't have perfect edges, but it's good enough. And you're gonna use body filler and stuff like that to pretty much fill in the gap, but you still got the strength on there because you wasn't it together. So, that is where we at. Let me get this tack welded and show you the next step. Now I went ahead and tack welded it where I wanted to end up. And it's pretty it's pretty level, you know, just a little sand in there will do. Sand sand these down a little bit, but you know, it's not too far off if you can see that. It's down there pretty well. Now what I don't want, I don't want it to go straight up and down. That's what I don't want. So I'm gonna have to figure out to poke this out poke it out to give me like on like an angle so it can look better I think a little angle will work better it's kind of already on an angle but let's see can we get a little better than that so yeah that was pretty much the progress I made I'm gonna go ahead and cut this other side 
go ahead and line out the shape for this. Just trace that line on down. And cut this side. And whoever, whoever wants to know, this is 18 gauge metal. So if you go to your metal shop, tell them you want 8 gauge. It's pretty strong once it's all connected together. It's pretty strong. I was thinking about 16, but 16 was, it was thick. So I said, let me try this 18 gauge and let's see. But so far, I like the strength of it. It's pretty sturdy. Let me get that other side done. Okay. I got the other side tech welded on there. Turned out pretty good, just tack welds. I'm gonna try to uh, TIG weld the edges. I've been I've been core flex welding for like a month now. I think I pretty much got it down pretty much. So now I'm finna go into trying TIG or stick, stick welding. Might take care of that, but I'm gonna try both. And see how it turns out. But I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna widen these out some more and get it tacked down. Right now, the bottom is not tacked down. I ain't got much space in here. It's just a little storage. A little storage area but I liked how it turned out like I said man you gotta be different man so many so many people doing you know the impalas and dunks I just want to stand out and plus I am running I'm running with turbo so it's, it's definitely gonna match the look it's just not a look. It's gonna, it's gonna run. It's gonna match. So I update the video when I get started tech welding and get some fiberglass and bondo on it, so it all blends in. So stay tuned, YouTube. Stay tuned.